Greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back. We're walking our way right out of this room. It's what we do best. All right, computer, tell me where to go. So Ceres has been affected by the X2. Well, as a result, you recovered another ability. At this rate, you may be able to face the SAX yet, but that's still a ways off. HQ has more support data. This time, it's missile upgrade data. You'll desperately need this, but the data room here is sealed with a level 4 lock, the highest security level. Let's avoid opening sensitive areas unless it's necessary. Also, the route to the data room in Sector 2 is blocked by still more SAX activity. I note a deliberate activity pattern, as if it is blocking your recovery intentionally. Sounds, it looks like your best option for this download is in Sector 3 Pyre. You'll find the Pyre data room on your map after using the navigation room there. Yes. Now head for Sector 3, and then it points me the way. It's one of those unusual things, because usually it just does it on the way, but... Yes, 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 yes. Thank you. I would have heard you had done that while you were talking to me, but, you know. The computer's got to do its thing. We don't judge it. Often. Alright. I'm gonna go to the complete opposite side. This is a familiar pattern of walking from one room. One side to the other side. Luckily, Speed Booster makes it a little bit easier. Just waltz right in. The Pyro Room. Or the Pyro Room, if you're just going with the and the three letters. Works every time. Alright. Thankfully, the X have not invaded this area yet. The data room here is sealed by another security hatch. In order to download, you must find the security room here and activate level 2 hatches. This may allow the SAX and X parasites into the area, but we are left with no choice. Your recovery is our main goal. The data room is here. As I explained, security rooms cannot be shown on the map. Be careful, Samus, you will uh, see very violent organisms here. And avoid the ultra-heated areas. Your suit can't take such high temperatures yet, but we're working on it. Level 2 hatches are green. Release the green the lock and proceed to the data room for download. Super Missile data is ready. Your firepower will triple. Sounds good to me. First activate green hatches, then go to data room. There are no ultra-heated areas on this route, so turn back if you enter one. Great! Just avoid the hot, hot stuff. That's what I've been trying to do my whole life, but I live in Arizona. It's fine. You just actually speed boost pretty much your entire way through. I'm actually trying to remember which way I'm supposed to go. It can be a bit difficult. Looks correct, if you ask me. There's a lot of structures here that can be shot down. That's the name of the game, is just shoot through everything. This is what helps get the... Oh gosh, that was, so that was controller, no. So, on occasion, the computer can, or the, the controller can lose uh, the input. Not the worst thing in the world, but it can happen. So we're gonna go, this is one of those things where, oh. We probably, we've gotta explain the shine spark a little, I'm sure. This is getting difficult to actually... There we go. Nope. Nope, what I was trying to do was just get off of the ramp here. So you can press down to immediately store your thing, which is a little bit difficult to do on this specific controller. Press A to jump. Hold, no, just hold left. It really wants to do up and left, which is unfortunate. Because what I'm trying to do is be a cool kid. Okay, yes. There we go, that's what I want. But that way. I want the other way. I suppose I didn't have to actually run the other way, but it's okay, because the controller doesn't want me to go down. Oh, gosh. Dang it. Panics are there for a hot second. See, this, this gentleman is why you need a good controller for this game. No! Oh! See, and I get that part correctly, but then it's just like, oh, you want to go up? Like, apparently, it's very easy for me to just... I gotta hold basically left and down in order to go just full left. It's a very rare scenario for me. And I have to actually make sure to input down separately. Wow. All right. All right. This could take a while.
Okay. I mostly got it. It's fine. That took some concentration and just some navigating of the controller. My thumb actually hurts from trying to press it so hard. It's not, not the easiest thing to do with this controller. But it's okay. Because the hard part of this is now done. I can just jump just like that. It's not a thing. But now there's enemies. Do have to worry about those. Uh huh. I want this guy, Dunions. So we can shoot that gate, and then we just make sure we pick up some speed. Crumble blocks. Easy. And then immediately jump. No, we actually don't want to see him shoot fireballs when we climb. Weird as it is. Alright, just gotta get up and around. And just a free missile tank, in case you need it. Here in this game, because the bombs take so long to actually deploy, it actually, any instance you can get, uh, 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 an early, where you can deploy it early, is a good thing. Alright, just step into this room. There we go. So super missiles in pretty much every other game that they exist in, it's a separate thing. Like if you've seen me play Metroid Zero Mission, you've seen me with those those green missiles on occasion. Here it's just a power up, which is a bit controversial, but that's not the crazy part. So down here, real quickly, I'll show it here. There is a save room. There's a room next door, I believe, you can use to farm for some more health. Whoa, I wasn't actually expecting to grab the edge. I thought I was going to wall bounce. But we need to go to that door to see that that's now closed off. The earthquake starts. The madness begins. We're going to start charging up. We got this bad boy. No, now you go down left. Alright. It's not ideal, but... Oh gosh, you don't know. Really loves the angles of this uh, controller. Alright. Stand in the middle here. What? How did that shot bounce off? See, that one makes sense. Well, alright then. Charge me, you're the only one that cares. That's, that is the nice part, is you can use Charge Beam on the boss. Super Missiles are nice because they're actually quite strong. That one I just missed the timing of, that's unfortunate. Okay, I was hoping you were going to jump twice. But now you're going to dash. Alright, got some good hits. Didn't want to waste any more missiles. Okay, there we go. He's not super difficult, he can be quite troublesome, but there is a pattern and method to the madness. Just do what you do best, you'll be fine. As long as you can avoid basically getting hit on the ground. I'm gonna have to shoot some of these guys to get him out of my way. Unfortunate. There we go. Yes, just like that. Oh, okay, that's just rude. Now, there is, I believe, something up there. Alright, looks like it don't have to be. There we go. That's how we do it. I figured it out eventually. Jumping around for days. And energy tanks are always nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright. We'll take the refill. Spent so much trying to get angles and everything correctly. We're gonna need it. But that's sector four. It's a fairly quick one. Like I said, that boss fight. That boss fight has pretty much like specific attack patterns and whatnot. Like, that's not. It's not entirely difficult to work a way around with. Basically, just avoid getting hit by anything. 
Should be fine. You just place yourself above his little exploding fire orbs. And you can pretty much just get him to do the same thing back and forth. It's a little difficult, especially when you're... When the D-pad on your controller is not up to par as it was many years ago. But we make things work sometimes. But that will be it. That was quite the journey for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care everyone.